Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be customizing a Hot Wheels Torpedo Jones. Hot Wheels have produced these from 2002 until today and they are based on a 1911 Fiat S76 race car which boasted a 28.4 litre 300 horsepower engine and was nicknamed the Beast of Turin. So taking a closer look at this example off of the turntable, it's not in the worst nick. The little driver is missing. Other than that, it's, it's really not too bad. Quite cool this model and it has a metal base and a metal body up the top. So I'm sure we can do something pretty cool with it. So we'll crack on and take it apart. There's two posts to drill out. And then I can disassemble it. Next thing I'm going to do is remove these old wheels and axles. Next I'm going to use some paint stripper to remove the paint off the body of the car. And here it is after paint stripping and I do believe I have removed all of the paint off of this. But admittedly I'm no expert. So I had this independently verified by the UK's preeminent specialist on diecast paint removal, Rob from Matchbox Garage. Well Danny, I have reviewed the photos and the video footage you've sent to me and I can officially verify that you did achieve 100% paint removal. Congratulations, that's a thumbs up from me. Okay, that's great. Now with the paint all removed, I can move on and give it a clean up with the wire brush on my rotary tool and get rid of any oxidation that's on the casting. And the same with the base, even though it didn't have any paint on it, it's still a bit oxidized and grubby. There we go, there's the two castings, nice and clean. Next I want to remove the chrome paint off of this motor interior section here. So I'm going to use some caustic soda and hot water. And it goes. I left this for a few minutes and oddly didn't actually remove all of the chrome paint. Usually it comes off in a few seconds. So whatever they were chroming it with on this day was made of tougher stuff than usual. It's basically not a very nice surface to paint on. And that's okay. So to give this a little bit more detail, it's got this cool pipe at the side here. I'm going to take that off and put a more detailed one in. So there I've just used a coping saw to cut off the section of pipe that I'm going to replace. Then I drilled a little tiny hole in where I'd cut it off and then glued a tiny piece of steel rod in there. That allowed me to slip on a larger piece of aluminium tubing. That's going to be the main new section of the exhaust. Once the glue had dried, I sanded it down smooth. 
and then I glued on a larger section of tubing over this and here I've used my Dremel to carve out that knob that was on the driver's seat also added a little styrene support rod for the exhaust now back to the car body I just drilled and tapped that post at the rear there now I'm going to paint it so I start out with some German red brown primer and next I give it a coat of turquoise Over this to make it a little bit more faded, I sprayed some thinned down white. Then I'm using some orange rust, just lightly airbrushed on a little bit of rust sort of shading there. Next, the whole thing was given a thin grey wash. Here it is after that's dried and I've painted in a couple of details, the leather straps over the bonnet and the gear sticks there. Now I'm going to hand paint in some rust patches. And here it is after I've finished the chipping and weathering. Applied a little bit more wash to it here and there. Onto the base now. So this was given a coat of black primer and then I painted it in steel. Then I carefully airbrushed where the body of the car sticks out underneath using the aqua and the orange rust there. And here I've tidied up where the overspray was. And next I painted in some more rust patches underneath. And then I'm going to finish the whole thing with some washes. For the motor and the interior section, I started out with a coat of black primer. Next I painted the grill section there in a dark gold. Then I painted the engine and chassis section in steel. And I've painted the exhaust pipe there in a silver. Next I applied a dark brown wash over the exhaust pipe. And then some black washes over the rest of it. And I finished it just by putting some metallic weathering powders over some of the highlights. On to the wheels now. These are the old wheels. They're a bit odd looking, aren't they? I'll be getting rid of them. 
and I've got some nice aftermarket ones to replace them with and of course these don't have painted rims on them so I have to give them a paint job so here I've painted them silver you can see my rim painting rig comment down below if you'd like to see a tutorial on how I made my rim painting rig Okay, and to weather these a little bit, I just applied a couple of shades of rust pigment powders. And there we go, that's how it comes out. And I sealed that with a very light coat of matte varnish. And here they are with the tires back on. Right, we're nearly there, but just one more thing, a little replacement driver. So we're going to be using this little guy, he's from Green Miniatures Mad Cars series. He's got a spiky helmet there and a sleeveless jacket. You can see how little he is there. I have to take photographs because my film camera doesn't really handle very much detail when he's that small okay so to paint him I started out with some zenithal shading so I sprayed him from the bottom up with black and then from the top down with white and here he is after I've added color so he's got his blue jeans and his old grubby jacket and green spiky helmet Okay, so that's all of the hard work done and here are all the parts of our Hot Wheels Torpedo Jones Fiat Beast of Turin all repainted, refurbished and ready to go back together. So while I'm reassembling that, let's just take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. So here it is, our driverless Torpedo Jones. It's not the scruffiest car in the world. I think it's still do with a bit of a tidy up. And I think it's a great candidate for a unique custom makeover. So let's see what we can do with it. And here it is, our finished custom Torpedo Jones Fiat S76 28.4 litre race car. It's been stripped down, repainted, weathered and rusted up a bit. It's got that new detailed pipe. And then it's been put back together with some nice new aftermarket wheels. And of course finished off with our crazy little driver with a spiky helmet. This is a really fun project to do. Probably one of my favourite little cars I've done I think. You can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Massive shout out to Rob for verifying my 100% paint removal. An even bigger shout out to my awesome Patreon supporters who help to support the channel through Patreon. If you'd like to help out as well you can check out the link in the description below and thanks to you for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did and you'd like to see more similar stuff remember to subscribe and click the bell give it a like and share it with your friends